All right. Here we have a fantastic early Qing armor, probably Qianlong period, Qinwang armor. Qinwang was a princely rank. So you had, of course, the emperor, the next rank down were the, the princes. And so this would have been a Manchu prince of the blood rank armor, the Qinwang armor. And it's, uh, it's just really fantastic piece. This, of course, was a parade armor. Those princes weren't really in combat very much, so they didn't really have plates in their armor. Uh, this type of armor is called Dingjia. It means uh, nail armor. And the reason is because if you see all those little studs on an actual armor, each of those studs would have held in place lamellar or brigandine armor underneath. So if we could open that up on an actual armor, you'd see the, the, the rectangular plates lined up going down. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is missing its heart-protecting mirror, which would have been a, uh, a piece, a round piece, that went right on the center there, right over the center of the chest. And you can see the four little toggles that would have, the buttons would have attached onto right there. Okay? The other thing I really love about this armor is that people often think everybody in China was small. But these Manchu people were not small. Look at the size of this fellow. Of course, he would have had some clothing and maybe some padding on underneath. But this is not a small fellow. This bannermen were really big guys. So there's several uh, details that let us know that this is a princely rank armor, the Qinwang armor. Uh, one is the, we have the regulations which show us this design and define the certain colors. So this is a gold armor. The next rank down, the top rank generals and so on, uh, had what's, what's called a stone blue armor. Uh, also, if you look closely, it's a little bit difficult to see, but if you look closely on the, at the dragon on the helmet and on the other fittings, they all appear to be four-clawed dragons. And the princes of the blood, of the Manchu blood, and the uh, certain high-ranking dukes of Bela also had this four-clawed dragon. The five-clawed dragon was, of course, for the emperor and certain of his officials. So, of course, when we talk about the Manchus and the Bannermen, we're talking about the last dynasty, the Qing dynasty, and that was from 1644 to 1911.